Hi everybody, today we continue our playthrough of uh, Bioshock, the original game. We were here, we just encountered a little sister and a, a big daddy, and I think they might be right there. Uh, there is a beta chamber which is never a good sign, it means something is about to happen usually, because you want to be near a place where they can uh, you can get revived and here she is enemy right there splicer with a gun and i was able to kill her okay so i'm uh, i'm actually not my, my life bar is pretty down. Now this is full of enemies, of splicers. Let's zap them in the water. Altruism is the root of all wickedness. Excuse my English, guys. It's not my native language. Today's bulletin, good morning, rapture. Stay up to date. Medical pavilion. Okay, so here we are near the medical pavilion. Um, we will see what surprises this medical pavilion has for us nothing here in the bathroom uh, i cannot carry any more first aid but how do i use the first aid i actually don't know this let me check this really quick uh, controls Customize keys. Hmm. Okay, first aid is F, like first, and indeed I get it. Sorry about that, guys. It's been a while since I've been playing this game. <coughs> Security alert in progress. Uh oh. oh Okay, I didn't really need to use all those bullets for this one, maybe. What happened? Ah, shit. Okay, so we know now that Andrew Ryan is alive and well. And uh, he blocked us, so we have to go through this medical pavilion in order to, to escape. Okay, I don't like to be trapped. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches said to you, the KGB wolf? The CIA general. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or bus was on you, General. Okay, so Andrew Ryan is alive and well. Oh. 
Okay, so we didn't encounter any big daddy, I guess that was just a scripted scene before, but we're off to the medical pavilion. And this, this is already kind of creepy. <laughs> medical stuff is really always a little bit... It's not really pleasant, especially in a in a game like this, which is kind of power-ish. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. Emergency access. The parasite hates three things: free markets, free will, and free men. The parasites. So I hear I can buy stuff with my money at the uh, vending machine, such as uh, First Aid, uh, Eve, which is basically the, the mana here, and uh, alcohol and uh, ammunition. So I don't really, I would like to buy some ammunition, but I don't really have enough money for now. Okay, I can hack this security bot, and uh, this consists of a mini game where I have to move tiles in order to uh, bring the water to the end of the pipe without it getting spilled. So let's see this here and. This one here, this one here, and this one here, and this one here, and then I can increase the speed to finish this. And hacking is successful. So now I have this little drone for me that works for me. First we have this recording. Dr. Steinman said he'd release me today. Ryan didn't come to see me since the New Year's attack, not once. But Dr. Steinman was very attentive. He told me that once the scar tissue was gone, he was gonna fix me right up, make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. All right. And so interested in my case. Okay, so this was Diane Mc McClintock, who was the, the girlfriend of Andrew Ryan, and uh, she got uh, shot or injured uh, in the attack that was on New Year's Eve. And uh, she, she then went to this uh, medical pavilion, obviously. Um, and she looks like she's a little bit in love with this her doctor, which is this Dr. Steinman, um, who was very interested in her case. So splicers fighting oh, among themselves. Good oh. thing we have this drone with us. Let's see if we can participate in this battle. Yeah. are always welcome.
to Neptune. That's, I guess, where we have to go, but we can't right now. Okay, here is another recording. Okay, so here we have the first uh, kind of uh, moral um, um, moral dilemmas uh, that these people obviously didn't have. They came here to rapture in order to avoid a, avoid um, having to deal with these moral dilemmas and do basically what they want. So basically eugenetics and uh, it's suspicious uh, <laughs> that uh, Steinmann is uh, kind of a German name so there will be for sure something related with that um, let's just remind ourselves that this is 1961 so access you'll be needing Dr. Steinman's key. He's the one that runs this place. But I don't expect him to hand it to you out of the milk of human kindness. Steinman ain't that kind. And frankly, I'm not even sure he's still human. Yeah, so... Uh, what is that? How dare you Okay, so this flying thing wasn't really helping me so much. Ah, we have a machine gun, that's a good thing. And electrical override switch. Come on, man. Protect me, what are you doing? Oh, you're still alive. Where is the other splicer? There he is. I really cannot count on this stupid power. Okay. Lock box. Money. Wrong. Nice legs. to protect me. What the hell? We have rules here. Oh, I don't have any weapons, I'll do your job, flying turret, drone. Good job, finally. Welcome to the Circus of Values. Ok, 
Okay, what happens if I try to hack this? It is, should not be too difficult. So, let's try it. Straight vertical one, yeah, here and here and here and here and here. Got it. So now things are supposed to cost a lot less. Um, pistol rounds, I actually wanted the machine gun rounds. Hmm. I guess I will take some more pistol rounds just in case. No, I didn't want the vodka. And maybe another Eve hypo. Okay, and I spent all my money. I don't like the pistol very much because this this game has a kind of weird shooting mechanic so uh, I prefer to kind of pray and spray with this uh, machine gun. Are you following me? Yeah, good. You keep an eye peel for Steinman. The daft bastard set up shop in the surgery wing. You want to find them? Just follow the blood. No, oh, this is really, really creepy. This medical stuff, my God, is really. So guys, I think before we get into this really creepy part, I will say goodbye to you and uh, we'll see each other in the next episode. Above all, don't harm. Do no harm, Steinman. Yeah, there's a written in blood. This is really a... <laughs> My god, this game is, is really something to think that it's almost 10 years old with this graphics and this theme it's really a great game all right guys see you next time for the next episode to uh, when we will hopefully face off with uh, dr steinman himself and make him pay for what he did to all these people bye <laughs>